Hey guys, it's Marissa. So in today's video, I'm actually just telling you guys my overall thoughts on the newest Billie Eilish fragrance, which is called Eilish. And I'm super, super excited that I got this because it sold out within like the first couple hours of launch. Um, so I was really, really excited when I got this in the mail. It honestly didn't even take that long for me to receive this in the mail. It took about like maybe three days because I think it launched on a Friday. It said delivered on Monday, but I didn't receive it until Tuesday. So really it took like about three to four days, which is not that long at all. So I really, really like it. And I'm just going to tell you guys my overall thoughts on it. And also I recreated the look that she did in her fragrance pictures. If you're interested in hearing my overall thoughts on everything, I will have it timestamped down below. But if you're interested in the makeup look, I also will have that timestamped down below so you can just skip around on the video if you don't wanna watch the whole thing. So when I smelled this, I honestly didn't really know what to expect. I know it was gonna be a little bit vanilla-y, but I didn't really know how much and like what else it was supposed to smell like. Cause I know on the site it says that it has notes. So like the first notes is supposed to be like petals and like mandarin orange or something. And honestly, I don't smell any of that. Like I don't smell like the berries or anything like that. I smell mainly vanilla and I do smell musk, which is the main thing is the vanilla. And then there's another note um, that is like a musky kind of like woodsy scent. And I do smell that as well, but I really don't smell that mandarin out of everything that it claims. So this is the actual bottle and um, this is like the size of my hand. So it's like a pretty decent size. I really, really like it. I just think it's super unique. Um, it does remind me just slightly of like one of those Kim Kardashian bottles, but if you look at it more, I feel like this is like an actual sculpture of Billie Eilish. Like I feel like this is probably her. If not, it kind of does look like her in my opinion. The way that you actually take this off, you don't unscrew it. You kind of like, it's very hard to take it off in my opinion. Like I was having a hard time doing it, but basically you kind of just take the head part and you lift it up like this. So I had to do it off camera just because it's kind of difficult to do, but this is like the actual bottle right here and like just the top part. And when it sprays, obviously it just sprays like a normal perfume, but it at first smells very vanilla -y. Daisy wants to say hi, by the way. It smells very vanilla -y at first, and then the more you leave it on your skin, it starts to get a little bit more musky. I don't want to say throughout the day, but it definitely did last like, I want to say at least like six hours, which was really, really nice. Because when I tried it on the other night, I just sprayed it on one side of my sleeve just to see how it long it would smell and I honestly could just smell it just by like walking around and stuff so this definitely just like by one squirt it will last a long time and I also asked my mom just to see what her thoughts on the scent was and she said to her it actually reminded her exactly of the black and mild vanilla cigars I've never smelled those before but she said it smells almost exactly like it just because of that muskiness and that sweet vanilla smell so if you know what that smells like and you actually like the smell of that then this would be perfect for you because apparently according to her it smells almost identical to it if the main question is would i buy it again honestly probably not because i feel like this is gonna last me like a really long time because like how i said just one squirt it lasts me like at least half the day so for me i feel like this is gonna last like a pretty long time and i feel like by then she's gonna also come out with possibly more fragrances or more different scents so she might come out with like more scents in the future and just you know have something else to choose from but for now i definitely plan on wearing this especially for like you know special occasions and stuff and i just think it's really really cool especially how like the bottle like it looks like she actually autographed it which is also really really cool but the next thing is just me recreating the look from her photo shoot. So if you're interested in seeing that, then that's going to be the next clip. So I'm first going to be starting with the eyes and I'm not going to make a base or anything like that because her overall look is just very, very natural and just like a hint of gold. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. But I'm just going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter. And this is in the shade So Hollywood. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap some like right here on this lid. And then I'm going to take an e.l.f. blending brush. And using just a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, I'm going to spray this first. Like, I'm going to wet the brush. 
And then I am going to take the lid right here of the loose pigment and just get it on the brush. And then I'm just going to glide this on to my eyelids just so it gives it like this really wet kind of appearance. And it's like a really minimal effort, but it looks really, really nice. Like, especially in person, the camera doesn't really capture it that well, but it just glides on so easily within one swipe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and using the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette by Too Faced. It looks like just on the corners of her eyes, like she has like just a hint of pink. Um, So I'm just gonna use the shade Soft and Sweet right here. And using an Ulta Round Brush, I'm just gonna like barely put it on, like just very, very lightly. And I just changed the lighting a little bit. Um, I just rolled up the windows just so you can see a lot better. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of like how I'm just placing that pink. It's mainly just in the outer corners of my eye. And then I'm also gonna just barely drag it inwards like towards the center of my lid, but like mainly towards the lash line. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend everything together with what I set. And then just to make my eyes really stand out, I just used that same technique and using an e.l.f. precision brush, I just spritzed it with that Morphe setting spray and then dipped it in that highlighting powder, which is in the shade So Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just applying that to my inner corner and just a little bit above the inner corner too, just so like you can really see it reflect and just really make my eyes stand out even more. Next, before I do anything else with my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Artless Glow Base, and this is Hemish, I wanna say. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I've been really obsessed with this just because it has SPF in it, and it's just very, very moisturizing because my skin has been kind of drying out lately because of the cold weather. I've been really, really liking this, and so I'm just gonna apply this and just rub it in into my skin. So like I said, she has a very like glam, like soft glam, but no makeup look kind of going on. So I'm just gonna use the same thing and use kind of like a lightweight, concealer no foundation i'm just going to use the instant age rewind maybelline eraser concealer and this is in the shade 100 ivory and i'm just going to mainly put this under my eyes and just any kind of like redness areas that i have and then i'm just going to blend everything in using the real techniques beauty complexion sponge Then to set my face, mainly my under eyes, I'm just gonna use the Airspun Loose Face Powder and this is in the shade Naturally Neutral. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and just bake my face. So then to bronze my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Butter Bronzer in the shade 6676 using an Ulta Blush Brush as I always use. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of contour my face as well. And then just re-blend everything in using that Beauty Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques, just so then that way everything's just really nicely blended into my skin. I'm also gonna take this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and just like contour my nose and like kind of drag it upwards like towards my eye right here and just kind of deepen it and like make it a little bit more in depth. For blush, I'm just gonna really lightly put it on because I really don't feel like she's wearing any blush in the pictures. So I'm just gonna use the Tarte blush in the shade Peaceful and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that with another Alta blush brush. And I'm mainly just gonna keep this towards this part of my face, not so much like the apples of my cheeks, just kind of like lifting the face up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna use the Morphe setting spray again and just spray my face and then just blend everything in using that beauty blender like how I said before. And then if there's any like leftover powder from whenever you baked your face, um, just kind of like blend it in a little bit more. Usually by now it just wiped away from like whenever I did the powder bronzer, but if not, if you're doing it with like cream contour, if you wanna recreate this look, then go ahead and, and you can just wipe that away. But for me, I don't really have any excess powder. So I'm just going ahead and just blending this out even more. I'm also going to just bake a little bit below my cheekbone, like just where my jawline is and just kind of sharpen out a little bit of that bronzer. And I am going to add a little bit more around my nose as well. So she kind of has her brows like flicked upwards. So I'm going to go ahead and do that after I fill them in using the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And then I would recommend like using some sort of like brow gel so you can keep it flicked 
up to make it look like a feathery brow but honestly I don't have anything like that at the moment so I'm just gonna take a spoolie and do it myself but it's just not gonna stay in place for as long but if you're planning on like recreating this look for a night out look then definitely like get some sort of brow gel I think there's one by NYX that's like really really popular right now like from TikTok or something but for now I'm just gonna use a spoolie and just flick it upwards like this and then I'm just gonna take a beauty blender again and just kind of tap away that excess powder and then I'm gonna tap into that pink shade again using um that Ulta round brush and I'm gonna like lightly add it to my lower lash line and just kind of smoke it out like very lightly then using an elf precision brush I'm just gonna take like a very small tap of like a light brown shade and I'm gonna go ahead using gingerbread glam and just mainly add that to the lower lash line like right below it like on the outer side if that makes sense like so right here and just like barely even like spread it across like just leave it right here just so kind of it opens up the eye a little bit more and for a little bit more coverage just for me personally because I am just breaking out like mainly in one spot right here you can't see it too much but I'm just gonna go ahead using a covergirl concealer stick and this is in the shade neutralizer I'm just gonna go ahead and just add a few taps of that right there so you don't see it as much so she doesn't have any eyeliner so she keeps it pretty simple i'm just gonna go ahead and use the essence lash princess mascara and this is in the shade black and i'm just gonna go ahead and just like really coat my lashes with this and then to just separate them a little bit i'm just using an ulta beauty new heights lifting mascara in the shade black i really love how small like the bristles are on this so I'm just going to do that to add to my lower lashes and also just separate the top part of my lashes. And then for lips, which is the last thing to do, it looks like she's kind of wearing like a matte liquid lipstick or like a satin lipstick and then just topping it off with a clear lip gloss. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just take this Ulta Beauty. It's like a satin finish lipstick and this is in the shade Nudely Interrupt. And like hers is like kind of like, I don't want to say messily applied, but it's like kind of blotted in a sense. and it just looks a little bit more natural looking so i'm gonna apply it to my lips and then just kind of take my finger and just like kind of blend it to the all of the spots of my lips and then for lip gloss i'm just gonna go ahead and use the glossful beauty purple butterfly lip gloss so this swatch is clear even though it looks purple in the tube so i'm just gonna use this as the top coat and then this is the completed look so i really really like it it's honestly something like very different than what i typically wear just because i always love wearing liquid eyeliner um for me personally i don't really like this lip shade on me i just feel like my skin tone is a little bit too fair for it like it's still really pretty though but i just i don't know i never really wear pinks like this but overall like the actual look like the eye look and everything i think that's actually really really nice but like how i said i would probably wear an eyeliner wing with this just because that's typically what I go for when it comes to makeup but the overall like outfit and everything I feel like I did a pretty decent job trying to get at least like similar to what she was wearing I just could tell that she was like wearing something gold and this is definitely gold and I just thought it looks really really cool especially since my hair at the moment is pretty blonde she is a little bit more blonde than me but still like I feel like it's pretty similar and so I really had a lot of fun recording this video and just telling you guys my thoughts on everything. So if you're interested in seeing more videos from me in the future, you can always subscribe down below. I upload every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you can always hit the notification bell to be notified for every single time I upload. And I'll just see you guys next time. Bye!